Good morning. In our lecture today, I'm going to make a revision about our course. Let me draw your attention to the first chapter. Our first chapter related to the scope and the challenge of international marketing. And through this chapter, we discuss the changing face of US business, the scope of the international marketing task, the importance of the self reference criteria SRC in international marketing and the progression of becoming a global marketeer and finally we discuss in this chapter the increasing importance of global awareness. In our second chapter, and this chapter related to culture management style and business system. And during this chapter, we discussed the society for adapting to culture differences. And we explained how and why management styles vary around the world and then draw your attention to the importance of culture differences in business ethics and finally in this chapter we discuss the differences between relationship oriented and information oriented cultures. Our next chapter related to developing a global vision through marketing research. We discussed the importance of problem definition in international research. And the problems of availability and use of secondary data. Then we differentiate between quantitative and the qualitative research methods. Then draw your attention to sources of secondary data. And finally, we discuss how to analyze and use research information. Our next chapter related to global marketing management planning and organization. And through this chapter, we discussed how global marketing management 
differs from marketing management. And explained the increasing importance of international strategic alliance and the need for planning to achieve company goals and finally the important factors for each alternative market entry strategy Then we move to our next chapter related to products and services for consumers. And in this chapter, we discussed why offering standardized products is important. and the product acceptance and the market into which it is introduced quality and how it is defined country of origin effects physical mandatory and the culture requirements for product adaptation and finally, we discussed attributes products that aid overcoming resistance to acceptance. Our next chapter related to international marketing channels. And through this chapter, we discussed together how distribution channels affect cost and efficiency in marketing. And then we explained to you what Japanese distribution structure means to Japanese customers and to competing importance of goods and then we discussed how distribution pattern affect the various aspects of international marketing Then we discussed together the functions, advantages, and disadvantages of various kinds of middlemen. And finally, in this chapter, we discussed the importance of middlemen to products success and the importance of selecting and maintaining middlemen next chapter related to integrated marketing communications and international advertising and through this chapter
we discussed what are the characteristics local market what are the characteristics that affect the advertising and promotion of products second we discussed the strengths and the weakness of sales promotion and the public relations in global marketing and then we discussed a very interesting point related to when global advertising is most effective and when modified advertising is necessary and then we discussed what are communication process in the second part in the chapter related to integrated marketing communications and the international advertising we discussed what are the effects of single European market on advertising And what are the effects of limited media, excessive media, paper, and equipment shortages, and the government regulations on advertising and promotion budgets? In the next chapter, which is related to personal sailing and sales management, we discuss together first. What is the role of interpersonal sailing in international marketing? Second, what are the considerations in designing an international sales force? To be effective. Third, what are the steps to recruiting three types of international sales people? Then we discuss what is the selection criteria for international sales and marketing positions finally in this part we discussed what is the special training needs of international personnel
Okay, in the second part, in the chapter related to personal selling and sales management, part two, we discuss together first what are the motivation techniques for international sales representative second we also discuss how to design compensation system for an international sales force and this is a very important point to be considered and then we discussed how to prepare Americans for foreign assignments And finally, in this part, we discussed what are the changing profile of the global sales and the marketing manager. Okay. Thank you. And good luck.